welcome to our second Remontia vloggy. So like our renovation vlog about what we're doing with the Colo space. I greet you from the world's coolest chair, rescued by Tuomas and Johanna from Hamelina on a foraging trip for some furniture. And hold on, let me bring you a little bit closer. So today I just wanted to give a brief history, as I understand it, of the history of Colo. How did this cafe come about and what makes it special exactly? So two years ago in January 2015, a group of friends decided that they were going to take control of January in Helsinki. January can be a rough month. It's super dark. It's the middle of winter. Especially when you're in Helsinki, you don't necessarily have a lot of snow, so winter sports aren't so much of an option. And it's just a depressing month. Christmas has already passed, and you realize you still have to get through February and March, really. So two more solid months of winter before the spring even begins. So what they decided was to do a pop-up cafe uh, in a, a cafe space called Made in Kalio. So they rented the space and turned it into the Friends January Cafe, or in Finnish, Ustavien Tammikafila. And the concept was that it would be open in the evenings, so it would open kind of afternoon to evening, and even into the night, I think it was open at least till 10 p.m., and they would every day have activities going on, and it was just a place where people could come and hang out. You didn't have to buy anything to come spend time there. There were always activities, always people, and not just people, but like a really nice, warm group of people who would give you a hug and pull you out of your winter sadness. And the cafe was super popular, packed every night, sold really cheap coffee, they would have kind of um, discos and stuff in the basement. And so, and it, at the end of this Tommy Coffee Love project, the people who were involved ended up becoming a super tight group of friends and continuing to plan things and do stuff together. So then this year, after some discussions, everybody decided, yes, we need a Tommy Coffee Love again. It's, you know, good for our mental health, it's great fun, and a lot of people just like undertaking a project. Now mind you, some people had worked in a cafe before, but this was really kind of from scratch. So that meant planning the coffee, planning the food menu, planning all the activities, doing all this stuff. It was really a project for people, something that they created together, and it was a nice creative outlet. And um, the events also were themselves very creative and kind of fun. It would be things like spirit animal card readings or um, like I mentioned, dance parties or people giving each other massages or board game nights or things like that. And so then people decided when they found this cafe space on Pengerkatu that was available to go ahead and make this a full-time thing. And so it will be open afternoons and evenings and it will be a place where people can be and there will be concerts and gigs and all stuff all the time. So we're really excited to make Tommy Kafila a permanent thing and it's happening.